Welcome guys! It's time to take a closer look on another weapon and how to use it properly. The weapon is the scar -L. It's a modern assault rifle with 4 attachment slots and semi plus full auto firing capability. And when choosing an assault rifle, many love to compare the scar -L with the M416. And while that makes great sense as they both have a lot of attachment slots, full auto capability and uses 556, there are important differences between the two. The content of this guide is the most important stats, the best attachments, how to incorporate the Scar L in your own gameplay, and why should you even use the Scar L. The first point is the most important stats. And when it comes to those, you should remember that the Scar L has identical damage per hit as the other 556 assault rifles. This means that you'll need 6 bullets to kill a level 3 vest and 4 bullets to kill a level 1 vest. And you need 3 bullets to kill a level 3 helmet and 2 bullets to kill a level 1 helmet. The time between shots is 0.096 seconds, which makes it the slowest 556 rifle in the game. Almost as slow as the AKM, giving it a rate of fire of 625 shots per minute. So in a full spray to the chest against a level 3 vest, you would need half a second to kill the enemy player. And since we need that many rounds to make the kill, spray control is quite essential. Spray control with the scar -L is very similar to the AKM and other assault rifles, in the sense that after 5 to 6 bullets of spraying, it becomes a lottery as the randomness of the horizontal recoil will take over completely. If you want the best chance to perform a lethal volley of shots with the scar -L, only fire 6 bullets at a time, let the weapon rest for a brief moment and then fire again. Another super important stat, and honestly maybe the most important one, is a stat that you won't be able to find anywhere but in my videos on gun sounds. Because I found that the scar -L is the most silent assault rifle of them all, both with and without a suppressor. A good estimate here is that the sound from the scar -L travels about 30 to 50 meters less compared to the other assault rifles, making it a super intelligent choice as you will draw less attention to yourself. The scar -L has a high bullet velocity, but it is the slowest of the 556 assault rifles, with a bullet velocity of 870 meters per second. This however still means that the 1 to 100 rule on hitting moving targets is super effective using this weapon. Now let's take a look at the best attachments you can pick for the SCAR L. We have 4 equipment slots on the SCAR L. A scope or sight, a magazine, a grip and a muzzle attachment. My top picks here will be the red dot, the extended quick draw mag, the angled grip and the compensator. My choice of sight is not surprising if you know me just a little bit. I love the agility that the red dot provides and the way I think this weapon is played the best is at ranges of about 30 to 150 meters. But again, remember that the scopes and sights are highly preference based, so you should basically just choose what you like the most here. The extended quick draw mag is a no-brainer for all assault rifles. But the best grip for the scar -L, and the M416 II for that sake, is no doubt the angle grip. This is not preference as some might incorrectly attempt to convince you, and this is not determined by the way you shoot your weapon as some may also incorrectly attempt to convince you. And this is why. The angle grip reduces horizontal recoil by 20%, and the vertical recoil does not affect horizontal recoil. This data is taken from pubg.me and might get changed, but fact remains, the angle grip will always be best for compensating horizontal recoil. Vertical recoil is predictable. It goes up and only up. Horizontal recoil, on the other hand, is completely unpredictable as it can go left and right, two directions. So in order to predict and control your recoil, the angle grip will always be better, in particular in a full auto situation. And even if you shoot in semi-auto, you will still have horizontal recoil, unless of course you shoot super slow, but in that case a grip really doesn't make a difference anyway. 
So guys, angle grip is the way to go here, and then just pull down your mouse a little more when spraying. Finally, we have the choice for muzzle attachment. While I do love the flash arrow, and you guys know that, the compensator simply feels like the absolute best choice here. The reason is that the weapon is so strong at 30 to 150 meters of distance, and the compensator will really give you better spray control at that distance. Spraying on distances further than 100 meters is probably not a good idea, but fast tapping here works great, and the compensator helps with that too. If you prefer using the Scar L for long distances, or you're playing in foggy or rainy weather, the flash hider becomes a much stronger choice by increasing the stealth level of the weapon. And in regards to using a suppressor on the Scar L, the stealth level increases tremendously, making it an incredible strong choice if you find one. Use it to increase your stealth level. Just keep in mind that the suppressor only affects the sound and eliminates the flash, and it does not affect the recoil of the weapon. So how to incorporate the Scar L in your gameplay? To me, the Scar L is the AKM of 556. I use it pretty much in the same way as I use the AKM. On short to medium range, my Scar L is always in full auto, ready to react with a quick controlled spray. It's the kind of weapon that brings versatility into your short and mid range game. Remember that if your plan is to use the Scar L for long range fighting, then the M416 and the M16A4 in particular are both better choices in terms of bullet velocity. And while it's not a lot, it can make a difference between hitting your target or not. Whenever you're running around, I'd recommend having the Scar L in your hands using a red dot while in full auto. If you need to take a longer shot, just swap scopes quickly to a long range scope or swap to your sniper rifle if you got one. If you just imagine having an AKM with less recoil, well that is how I think this weapon is played optimally. So why should you use the Scar L? Arguing for the Scar L is quite easy. The strongest argument here is the stealth level of the weapon, as it is the most silent assault rifle of them all. It is also a weapon which requires 4 attachment slots, which normally isn't that hard to fill up, thereby bumping it up to maximum performance. Also, the Scar L is a weapon that makes me feel safe in those short to mid range situations, simply by the way it handles when spraying 5 to 6 bullets. It feels great and it gets the job done. I'd love to hear how you guys feel about the Scar L, because I feel like this weapon doesn't get the love it really deserves. Lastly, before I end the video, I want to say that I have begun streaming on Twitch. Yesterday was the first stream and it was amazing fun and we played a lot of custom games, which is now possible because I've become PUBG partner. So join the Discord server to join the custom games when we go and follow me on Twitch if you want to watch my stream too. So that's all I had for you guys in this video, I hope you learned something, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time!